Hi friends, you are most welcome to our channel Pharma Engineering. So our today's topic is latent heat and sensible heat. So in this video, we will see latent heat and sensible heat with one example. So come on start. If you have not subscribed my channel till now, then please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon. So first of all, we will see sensible heat. So sensible heat is a heat which can be sensed by our measuring instruments like thermometer and sensors and latent heat is a heat which cannot be sensed by a, uh, measuring instruments like thermometer and sensors so in other words sensible heat can be defined as a heat utilized by any substance or liquid to bring its uh, temperature to its boiling point suppose this is a liquid this is a water at 20 degrees Celsius. Now we are supplying heat to this water and its temperature starts to rise from 20 to 40 then 60 then 80 and finally it reached its boiling point at 100 degrees Celsius. So all the heats we are supplied to this liquid for rising its temperature from 20 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius are known as sensible heat. After attaining the 100 degrees Celsius, if we are still supplying the heat to this water, so its temperature will not uh, uh, rise uh, above the 100 degrees Celsius. So where this is, this uh, heat is going. So this heat is now utilized for changing the phase from liquid to vapor. So all the uh, heat which is used, uh, which is which are utilized for changing phase is known as latent heat from this graph you can see suppose our water is at 20 degrees Celsius at this point we are start to uh, supplying the heat its temperature starts to rise rise, rise and finally attain 100 degrees Celsius at this point so all the heat we supplied in this region from here to here are known as sensible heat and after attaining this 100 degrees Celsius, we uh, continue to supply the heat. So all this heat after attaining 100 degrees Celsius are utilized for changing the phase from liquid to vapor. So all the heat which are, which are used for changing phase are known as latent heat. So from this point to this point, the heat utilized are known as latent heat and from this point to this point, heat utilized for uh, rising the liquid temperature is known as, known as sensible heat. So I hope you understood the difference between sensible heat and latent heat. So if you like this video then please press the like button and subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.